Hi guys, this is Sadek from Google.com and in this video, we'll show you two methods through which you could unlock your PIN, pattern or password on your Android phone using the ADB command without the need to touch your Android phone or screen as well. So if the touch is not working on your phone or is currently hanging, then you could easily use the ADB command to unlock the PIN, pattern and password. However, there is one major requirement that you sh should have checkmarked beforehand. And that is the USB debugging should be enabled and authorized on your phone with regards to your PC beforehand. If you haven't done so, then unfortunately, both these methods will not work. So if the USB debugging is enabled and authorized beforehand, then only move ahead with any of the two methods or else they will not work. So with that said, currently I'm using a OnePlus phone, but the steps are applicable across all the phones and all the ROMs. Moreover, the password in my case is 111111. So it's one, a total of six times. Again, that does not matter. But just to repeat, the password is currently six times once. So it will work across all the pin pattern and password. Whereas the first method works across all the three pin pattern and password. But if you talk about the second method, then that will not work on the pattern log. With that said, I'm once again repeating both these methods require that you have Check mark the requirement of USB debugging beforehand. If that is not the case, then you will not be able to carry out this task. You could also verify if the debugging is enabled or not. I'll show you in this video as well. So on that note, let's get started. First off, get hold of the Android SDK platform tools on your PC. So you could get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction C drive and these are the files for platform tools. Now type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch command from inside platform tools. Now you will have to type in ADB devices and just hope that your phone is being shown here. If your phone is not shown here, then this signifies that the debugging is not enabled on your phone and you will not be able to move ahead. On the other hand, if your phone is being shown here, then you have check marked one half of the requirement. Let's now move ahead and verify the second half. So now you have to verify if you have authorized the debugging or not. So for that, type in ADB shell and you should either get your phone name or the device code name. So in my case, I'm getting OnePlus 9 Pro. You will either get either of the two, the phone name or the device code name and the dollar sign as you could see from here. So you should be getting either of these two. Once you are inside the shell environment, you could now carry out either of these two tasks without any issue as such. So first off, let me show you how to get this job done using the ADB tool. This is an open source tool whose name is SCRCPY will stand for screen copy. So simply get this tool from GitHub, go there and scroll to the bottom and click on the release and download the one which corresponds to, to your architecture. In our case, it's Windows 64 bit. So download it and then extract it onto your PC. Once you've done the extraction, these are the files. Simply you have to launch the exe file. And with this, it will now launch your phone. As you can see, my phone is currently logged and you could access the log chain. But as soon as you try to unlock it, you will see a black, black screen. This is because of the privacy concern. So now you will have to play the trial and error game and you have to simply hit the mouse icon on the screen. And depending on the region, it will light up the same icon. So now you will have to play the hit and trial game on your screen. As you could see, I'm clicking on the screen and it's being clicked on an empty region, but the same is shown on the phone. So now what you have to do is do some red random clicks and make sure that you are able to type in the password on your phone. So in my case, I guess over here is the one key. So as you could see, it's the one key which correspond to my phone. So I click on the one around six times. And with this, I could now access my phone. So you could now easily carry out all the tasks which you want. You may take a backup and then enable USB debugging and USB authorization. Or apart from that, you may access the file manager app and transfer the files onto your phone. Likewise, you may change the USB to file transfer and with this, your phone will then be visible on your PC. And from here, so let me show you, you could do one thing, type in USB file transfer or simply type in USB and default USB configuration and then choose file transfer. This, your phone will not be visible here and now you could access the data and copy paste it onto your PC or anywhere else and you will get all your data back. So this was the first method. Apart from that, let me show you 
This also works if we have a pattern on our phone. So let me change it to a pattern log and then show you the result as well. Just a minute, let me now access the log screen on my phone and let's now change it to a pattern. So let's use just a minute. Let's use a pattern of L shape. Let me confirm it. And with this, we have enabled the pattern log. So once again, let me show you as before, you will have to make sure that ADB devices and ADB shell command both are working. So as you could see over here, I could access the shell environment. Now, once that is done, simply launch the SCR CPY app once again. So let's launch that app. And it will bring up the log screen. So do an upward swipe. And with this, we're inside the log screen. Now let's try and do a random swipe on the screen. As you could see, I could now access my screen and do an L shape. As soon as that happens, my phone gets unlocked. And now I could carry out the desired task. I could copy the files, upload the file to Google Drive, you could open the launcher from here or Google Chrome from here, sync into your account and make sure to upload all the files to Drive. With this, you will have all your files uploaded to Google Drive and then you can access from anywhere. Likewise, you could access Google Photos and then upload all your photos over there or simply flash a different custom ROM by booting to fastboot mode and flashing a ROM. You could now carry out all these tasks. So guys, this was the first method through which you could unlock and remove the ADB pin password or pattern lock from your phone using the SCR CPY tool. Let me show you how that could be done without using any tool as such. So in the second method, we will not use any third party app or tool. Instead, we will simply use an ADB command. So this is quite an interesting guide as well. So let me show you first off. Let me use a screen lock password and revert back to a password. So once again, let's choose a pin 1116 times. So with this, this is our password. So we have enabled the numerical password. So as I have told you before as well, in the second method, you will not be able to use the pattern lock. It will only work if you have set a password or pin. So in my case, I have chosen a password of 1116 times. Once again, we will have to carry out the same task of verifying via the ADB shell and ADB devices command. Once you have verified both and you are inside the shell environment, let's now proceed ahead. So first and foremost, you will have to copy paste this command and do so. As soon as you paste this command, your screen will light up as you could see over here. After that, simply use this command and replace X with the password. So in my case, the password is 1116 times. So type in 1116 times and hit enter. And as you could see, my phone is now unlocked. So let me show you once again. Let me unlock my phone. And first off, let's type in the input key event 26 keyword and this will highlight the display and your display will light up. Then type in input keyword and your password and hit enter. And this will now unlock your phone. So this was quite an easy way. This will also work on pin as well as password both. Just it will not work on the pattern. So guys, these were the two different methods. Okay, one more thing. On some phones, you will have to tap on OK as well after typing in the password. So for those phones, you will then have to type in this command as well. So first off, you will have to type in the input key event 26. This will light up the display. Then type in this command and replace X with your password or pin. And after that, if you want to tap on OK, then type in this command and this will act as the OK button. In case of OnePlus, as soon as you type in the correct pin, the phone will automatically get unlocked. But that is not the case with most of the other phones. In some phones, you will have to manually tap on OK as well. So in those phones, make sure to type in this command as well. Just don't change the numbers. The numbers 66 and 26 are there for a reason. So keep them as it is. Just change the X to your password or the pin. And if you want to type on OK, then type in this command and with this your phone will be unlocked. So guys, these were the two methods through which you could unlock via the pin password or pattern with the help of ADB command without the need to interact with your phone. Just once again, I'm repeating the only requirement is that your phone should have enabled debugging beforehand and it should also have been authorized. If that's well and good, then both these methods will work without any issues.
So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.